Well, alright. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. My name is Kate and I have a super special, very fun friend. <laughs> friend just friend. here with me today so I actually have never had Chuck in a sit-down video we have been together for almost a year and a half now you guys have probably seen him in quite a few of my vlogs but never in like a sit-down video so thank you so much for joining me today he is the best and yes I have been bugging him to make this video for two weeks now two weeks two whole weeks and we're finally doing it and it is like 11 o'clock at night but you know what it's better now than ever. So, let's get right into it. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hey guys, I'm Chuck. Um, I'm her boyfriend. <laughs> not not just friends. Her boyfriend. He is my boyfriend. I am. So, as you guys saw the title of this video, something super fun has happened. It kind of came out of nowhere, but I surprised my sweet boyfriend with his dream puppy. There she is. There she is! Uh, her name is Taya, and oh, she's eating a tag. Oh, what are you doing? What oh. are you doing? Quit. We're adjusting to having a puppy around all the time, but she's been a bundle of joy. So we've had her for about two and a half weeks now, and it's been super fun. So I just kind of wanted to tell you guys the story. I tried to vlog the whole like surprise and everything, but it kind of didn't work that way. It kind of made more sense to just sit down and kind of tell you guys the story and everything. So I don't want to do all the talking. I want to let him do some of the talking, but I'll tell the story and then I'll let him talk about his experience with her. She's such a good dog. She literally is in love with him. She's like a little crackhead with me and then she's like calm for him. But anyways, so the story, we went to his parents' house a couple weeks ago and his little sister had seen a picture of her. It was her sorority littles. Ooh. Oh, she wants to run around. Her sorority little had a puppy. And so the brother of Taya was adopted by her little and then the breeder was like, oh, we'll just take both of them and cause you'll probably find a, ho a home for them better than I will. So Taya was the last one out of the pack. So I showed a picture to Chuck and you were pretty, pretty hype about it. I mean. Yeah, I was like, it was one of those you were like, oh my God, look at this pup. I was like, oh my God. This is the cutest pup I've ever seen in my life. And then you're like, I want to get it. I was like, uh, I don't know, man. We got to kind of kind of think about that. You're like, oh, well, it has to be like a yes or no, like now, or else we like can't get the dog. And I had a little, had a little bit of alcohol, you know, she was drinking wine. I, was, I don't even know what the hell I was drinking. But uh, yeah, so I was like, fuck it, we got to do it. Like, get the dog, get it, do it now. And she was like, oh yeah, we're gonna get a dog. We were super excited that night. I got a little too drunk and told him that I was getting this dog for him. And I had already agreed with his sister that we were gonna surprise him with this dog as like a joint effort. So then the next morning I needed to find some kind of excuse on why I didn't get the dog. <laughs> so I told him the next day that I missed out on the dog. Did you believe me? I did, yeah. I was like, I mean, it's too good to be true. Yeah, it was one of those, like, it makes sense, because it's like, oh, nobody's just gonna let, like, a cute pupper like that just, like, go, like, to anybody or whatever. Like, oh, we want this dog, we can't get it right now. Like, oh, well, we got, like, all these people who want it. I was like, oh, okay, well, you know. I guess I'll just find a different dog. I was excited about that one, but I'll get a different one. And he tried to hide his, like, disappointment, because he was like, I told you I wanted the dog. And I was like, I know, but I didn't know if you were 100% or not. And so I like let him keep looking at dogs and he just like, just seemed so iffy about it. He was so particular. He wanted a certain kind of dog. Like he had a bunch of different ideas of what he wanted, but he wanted an Australian Shepherd. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like I wasn't being like super picky. Like, oh, I need this particular type of dog. I was just like, oh, when I know the right dog, well, I'll, you, I'll, I'll see it. You also wanted a female and a puppy. Those yes. were the two things he yes, wanted. Yes, because I think females like female dogs would get more attached with men and then male dogs get more attached with women and so i want like you know it's going to be my, my companion so i want her to be like you know attached to me and then i wanted a puppy because i wanted to be the one to train it because i think 
if you get a, like if you get an adult dog it's like so iffy like either it's gonna be a really good dog or it's like oh they have no training his sister and i worked out the details this dog was in alabama it was eight hours eight hours i think one way um and she was gonna go get it the next day so it was sunday she was like i'm gonna go get it and i was like okay we're gonna do this so the next morning Monday morning, she texts me Brian early and she's like, all right, we're gonna go get this dog. And I was like, all right. So this day I'm at work. And so I'm literally sitting at work, like trying not to talk to him. And we talk like several times throughout the day, like on our breaks and on our drive home. And I told him that I had been planning this really special date for him. I had absolutely no freaking clue what I was gonna do with him. I was like, I have no date plan. But I told him I had this super special date planned for him. So I had to keep him busy until midnight on Monday night because she wasn't going to be back until then. So I ended up like running around making this date on the deck. On my back deck, I lit some candles, put some blankets down, got us some like, like salami and some like garlic dip. Or yeah. Like He's on his way over right now. So I got to be quick. I set up a little bed and then I have like candles out here and like a speaker so we can watch the stars that aren't out right now. But there's the moon, so romantic. He's gonna be like, what the heck? I told him that that this date is more for me, but I still wanted to do it because I thought it would be fun to have like a bonding time. I've already seen Pup, she's so cute. I cannot wait to meet her. Apparently she's like really, really tiny. So I am so excited and I have to give Maggie my camera and we're gonna make it happen somehow. Hopefully you guys can see it. And like we played some music and honestly, it was like a really good date. Like I'm so proud of myself for pulling it together. Got us some Trulies. Had ourselves a really, really good night. And so, like, we're talking about, like, dogs and, like, what kind of dogs we're going to get. And, like, you know, just us things. Talking about what we're going to do with, you know, our life and stuff. Amazing day. So, I got my roommates in on it. And they were in touch with his sister. And so, they went out and hid with his sister and helped her get the dog close to the house without him seeing. So, I took him out to my car and I said, oh, I forgot, I got you something small. I completely forgot about it. He was like, oh, okay. He like stayed where I had the date and I was like, no, 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 you have to come with me. And he was like, I have to go outside? And I was like, yeah, yeah, just come out and help me with it. And he was like, all right. Did you think anything of it? I mean, no, I was just like, oh, I guess she just wants me to walk with her. I mean, it was like 12, so. Yeah, I, I was, I didn't want to go out there. I was like, I, <laughs> I mean, can you spring it in? Like, I was like, no, no, no. So I got him some puppy food, and then I got him a leash, just something standard. If you guys do know Chuck, you guys are gonna totally understand why I bought this, but this is the collar that I bought for her. It's like red, white, and blue. It's so Chuck, he's gonna freak out. And then I got this little toy that has, you know, I don't know why I got that. And then I got a little rogue toy for her. So. That's what we're working with. I'm so excited. I'm gonna set it up so like you won't see it when you look in, but I'm gonna keep the collars separate from everything else. Okay, I gotta arrange. So I go outside with him and he like, I opened my car, my front um, passenger seat. And we got there and I get in my car and I pull out a PetSmart red, white, and blue collar. So he was like, wow, you got me a dog collar for a dog that I don't have. I'm gonna insert the clip here for you guys. surprise he is you can tell in the video I thought he was excited like I was internally freaking out like oh my gosh I just forced him to have a dog that he was not ready for I was freaking out because he's not like a very expressional person like I am like over the top so not at all <laughs> um so for me it was like I was all I, I was just like sh shook like I, I didn't like know how to react it was one of those like 
you're presented with something and you don't even know what the hell to do. It's like Ricky Bobby. I was like, what the fuck do I do with my hands? Like, I. He's just holding this puppy. Yeah, because you like gave me the collar. I was like, what kind of shit? What? Like, you got me a dog collar and I ain't even got a damn dog? And then I was just like, what the fuck? And I like pointed behind it. Yeah, I was just like, oh. I was like, and I turn around and then there's my little sister and uh, her best friend from childhood, I call it Kit Kat. And then her two roommates, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I like, look, and that, there's the dog. There's the dog that she told me she was gonna get, but she didn't get. And then I was like, oh my God. It was like, one of those you don't even know what to say, you don't know how to react. Like, they're just like, I got a fucking pup, dude. Like, yes. I got a pufferoncini. Everything that night went so well. Like, I couldn't have asked for it to go better. Every plan that we had, everything that we had asked for, it literally, I couldn't have asked for it to, to be better. Like, we surprised him the way I wanted him, the date went so well, and Taya is absolutely amazing. So, that's how I surprised him. Shout out to everyone that made it happen. My roommates, Kate, especially Kate and Catherine. Both of them literally drove hours hours that day to go get this dog and surprise him so I mean that was huge so I mean in all it was a great experience and I'm so happy oh my gosh so that is the story of how we got her she has been such a joy for both of us and honestly I think that she's really like brought us closer definitely in a way I mean I'm the cheesy sappy one so I'm gonna be the one to say it but I mean, everything has just been so different, like having something that you're responsible for and like, she is his dog, I help out here and there, just I'll take her on the weekends while he's at work and I'm home or like, if he has something he wants to do during the day and I'm like, off that evening, I'll take her. So it's just been really good to kind of have two people to watch her. Oh my God, she's literally chewing on my light. So anyways, let's get into the specifics of Taya. So do you want to start with, how did you get the name? How has she been? How has life changed since you got a pupper? I don't know. What do you want to um, do? Okay, well, her name is Taya. I named her after Chris Kyle's wife because, as you know, I'm a fucking patriot. Um, I've always wanted to name a dog Taya just because I like the name. I thought it was cool. Um, she is nine weeks old now, and she is already like twice the size of when we got her. Insert like, clips here of young Taya. Yeah, because she like, I could hold her in my hand, like she was so small. And then now, like, I use two hands. So like, that means double the size, I'm pretty sure. Um, no mathematician or anything. But, uh, yeah, she's getting bigger by the day. Um, she's good, like, she's surprisingly potty trained for a puppy so that is just a dream come true she's so smart yeah she does poop in the house every now and again but usually that's like well usually her fault but sometimes it's mine um and then sometimes she'll like just have little accidents here and there but you know it's a learning process i'm learning about her like all her little antics and like her little cues so like you know i know immediately after she eats she's gonna have to poop and then I know an hour and a half after that, she will have to poop again. So it's kind of like just learning stuff like that. And 4 or 5 a.m. usually she'll wake up and be like, oh, I gotta go outside. And uh, I mean, it's just been a dream come true. She doesn't like the car. She does not. She does not like the car. She hates riding in the car. Which okay, is like, tough. Well, that, that's ironic though, because on the way over here, I put her in her little dog bed in my front seat and she was an angel. Like, yeah, I, we were on the phone on his way over to my house and I was like, do you have Teo with you? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, she has not cried once. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, doesn't like the car, but uh, she's getting better. She's learned, uh, training's going well, potty trained. Um, she's learning what not to do as well. Um, cause when she's in the car, she likes to get up on my dash or not my dash, my uh, little center console. And I now have a rip in there thanks to her. Um, but she like, if she ever like gets uncomfortable or like just misses me or something, she'll just like get up on top of it and you know, I gotta push her off, tell her no and sometimes smack her on the ass a little bit. But uh, yeah, whatever here, she didn't do that at all. So it was really, <sighs> she's turning into a uh, perfect pupper.
Yeah. She uh, is great with kids. We learned that yesterday. My neighbor's kid was running around and she just picked her up. She was so gentle with her. Great with other dogs. Loves to play. Mm -hmm. Loves to play. She actually, I'm going to insert a clip of my roommate's Australian Shepherd playing with her. And it's really freaking cute. She's so good. She just plays with the other one. She gets a little rough sometimes. She's ah! nipped at me. Okay. And a little sassy too. Okay. She's very sassy. Also, I've learned she loves scrunchies. I think it's her favorite toy, not gonna lie. But I always have a scrunchie on my wrist and now she knows like if I'm driving with her in the car, I'll put a scrunchie on and she'll just like kind of chew on it and pull on it while, what is she doing? Do you want to get back in here? You want to be vocal to the camera? Yeah. She didn't need some attention. She likes to eat my hair and she loves her daddy. This morning he left to go to the gym and she just cried and cried and cried until I finally got her. Oh, okay. She doesn't know what she wants. And she is an Australian Shepherd. I don't know if we mentioned that. Yep, she's an Aussie. Yep, she's an Aussie. It's definitely made me love those kind of dogs more. I definitely want one in the future. One uh, day. Distant future. In the distant future. Me is glaring at me right now. She's like, um, no. But yeah, so that is kind of how I surprised my boyfriend with his dream puppy. We are gonna keep you guys updated with vlogs and everything like that, but I just wanted to sit down and kind of have more of like a chill video. I've been begging him to get on my channel. Like we've been dating for a year and he just kind of pops up as like a background character in my vlogs. So <laughs> it's time for him to get up on here. But yeah, I mean, I definitely think it's been good for us. Yeah, that's so. One of those like, what do you call it, miracle baby? Mm -hmm. Kind of, miracle puppy? Yeah, we were, uh, you know, quarantine, everything was happening and it's, I mean, you're with that person so much or you're trying to adjust with your new lifestyles and we just had some kind of positivity in our life lately and it's been really good. So, mm -hmm. she's really amazing, such a good dog, she's so smart and highly recommend getting an Australian Shepherd. I'm obsessed with her. The oh, so we took her to a brewery um, last weekend and literally could not walk five feet without everyone stopping us to be like, oh my god, can I pet her? Like, what kind of dog is she? Does she have two different color eyes? Yes, she does have two different color eyes. And, oh, she's been like changing so much. Like, she has a little brown spot right above her black side of her eye, which I think is so cute. She's just changing every day. Okay. She is a psycho. She Come wants here. to be Come a here. crackhead. What are you doing? What are you doing? She Hello. likes to eat my hair and she likes to chew on his beard. I think it's really cute. I don't. Yeah, I think it's really cute. Yeah, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited. Thank you, baby, for being on my channel for the first time. Anytime, man. Yeah, it's been awesome. Hopefully, maybe I'll convince him to do more videos with me if you guys are interested in seeing more of Chuck and his fun personality. Yeah. Just got to make sure she'll uh, set up the camera because, you know. Sometimes she thinks that I'm supposed to do that. I do not. I do not. So, I guess that's it. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you guys subscribe. Um, it would mean the absolute world to me if you guys want to see more of me, Taya or Chuck. Probably more of me than either of them. But, nonetheless, we will be around. So, have a great rest of your day, you guys. I will see you guys next Thursday. And that's it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Like, I don't know what to do with it. That's a perfect outro. Perfect outro. Close up of the pupper. And we out. Alright, well let's go to bed. <laughs>